Hey guys, this is Ruroni K95 here, and welcome to the 2023 edition of my DVD and Blu-ray collection library video series. Last time we already take a look back. At first, what I did was my 1967 category of movies, TV series, as well as anime. Same with 1968 and 1969 category under movies and TV series in the 60s category, as well as my entire 70s decades on here, starting where I did my 1970 genre category in movies, TV series, and some anime, 1971 and 1972 category I did with movies and TV series and some anime, as well as 1973 to 1974 category under I believe it was movies, TV series, cartoons, and some anime, as well as 1978 category under movies, TV series, cartoons, and some anime, 1979 category under or the, the decades as well. I finished off in the decade on the 80s, 70s, and I already covered the first I already covered the, the first previous seven of those videos under the 80s category on there, especially on the genres on there, because yesterday I've already taken a look back on my 1986 category on movies and anime that I did yesterday, which I all, it all has got to me though, which I could remember though. In case you're wondering, because I have done a video of this since yesterday as well. So today, we're going to be doing something that I haven't thought of doing like this before. Because we're going to be taking a look at some movies, cartoons, and there's some anime that I have right here are on DVD. There are ones I have are on DVD, and there's some on VHS that I have right here that I picked for today as well. Because... I need to get some more anime as well, because just for the second as well, because I had to pick this from my anime collection just to get you a little heads up for this as well, because I want to do this just for the second as well. So this has gotten into the case though, as how I could figure out a way, particularly of how you want to know for this as well, particularly, and. I still figure out of how I want to do. So, however, I'm gonna. There's some more coming as well, which we're gonna be taking a look at those next time. So I'm gonna be doing my library book sale around the town vlog video, because I'm gonna be doing that tomorrow, which is on a Saturday as well. Just to give you a little word for this as well, as how I could remember, because I'm gonna be going to the library book sale on my around the town vlog which I'm guessing that would be tomorrow, that's why. So, let's not waste any time. So without any further ado, which is right here, right now, let's dive into this video. So, 1987 movies, cartoons, and anime, today, on the Physical Media Video Library series. Welcome back. So last time we already take a look back on my previous video where I showcasing some movies and some anime that I think I did those in the past since yesterday. Today we're going to be taking a look at where I'm showcasing some movies. There's some cartoons on here. There's also some anime that I have right here that I picked from my anime collection just to get your heads up for this as well. Just to get you a little point starters out of that as well. <sighs> so, without any further ado, which is right here and right now, let's dive into the movies category at this first. Let's start again with on the movies on there. Okay, the first one here, I think I got this under movies on here as well. 
I'm still guessing though that is this is the one that I have right here, <clears throat> which I had this on DVD as well, because we're getting into the whole depth of how I wanted to showcasing on the movies. I'm still figuring out a way of how this has gotten to me in the case of how what you expect to have this one here, and I have. This one I had for a long time that I have on VHS DVD here, and that is the Monster Squad. Yeah, this is a burned onto DVD set on here. This was never made available though. However, there was a version of this on DVD in Region 1, but I'm get I, I guess it was like if it was out of print though, collector's items though. Yeah, because this is a per <clears throat> perfect way to figure out a way of how you wanted to know about this. Yeah. <sighs> Sorry, I was yawning. So, for the thing of that DVD on there, yeah, this is basically you thought it was a UK DVD release, but apparently this is actually a burned onto DVD disc like this as well. Yeah, that's how I can stumble across for how I can expect for DVDs like this as well. And yet, I think this was on sale on eBay years ago because eBay doesn't like selling. Well, eBay sold this that was only limited as well. Like a whole limited time thing. Yeah, this is kind of acquaintance though, especially for what I could come across for that as well. Finally, into the movies on here that I got on VHS. Yeah, I think those are the ones that I have are right here. I think this one I have right here on VHS which I was at the thrift shop as well, and that is Predator. This is the VHS release I have from CBS Fox Video on here. However, this one probably got... Yeah, this is a 1988 CBS Fox Video release on VHS as well. Yeah, this is the original tape, by the way. How, yeah, because this, I think, that has a preview for... Revenge of the Nerds 2, Nerds in Paradise on there also, in case you're wondering as well. Yeah, it's been a while since I've had to watch this movie on the DVD, though, because I have been wanting to binge watch to pick a movie on there, especially whenever I can re-watch at this point, though. Well, yeah, now I can remember that as well, which I got into my first little, little case of that as well. And another moon I got here on VHS on here. And I think this is the one on here, which I think this was part of the RCA Columbia home video releases as well. As far as I know, for the most part is that I haven't realized that I didn't know that it was on DVD though. And Overall, this is actually a good movie. Well, I find this movie a very good movie, in my opinion, by the way. And this is the one that I have right here, and that is La Bamba. Yeah, this movie is basically tells the whole origins of Richie Valens in this movie as well. Yeah, because this how basically of how I can realize. Yeah, I saw this movie on YouTube for free with ads, though. Yeah, it's a very good movie, in my opinion, particularly, as well. However, this one did got a Blu-ray release on here, but I'm figuring, if, I'm guessing it was a, the Blu-ray release is going out of print, though, there were... Copy, a lot of copies of the Blu-ray release of this movie is p particularly sold as well. Up to limited edition copies as well. 
Well, because a lot of people are buying them on Blu-ray as well. Yeah. <sighs> Scooby. However, this movie is also available on DVD as well, because the DVD is still in print. However, the Blu-ray release, I'm not sure the Blu-ray release is out of print, though. However, I, I have the original tape as well, because I just like the cover, though, as well. Pretty good movie, though. And another movie that I got right here on DVD, and I... I'm guessing this is the Ultimate Edition what release I have right here. When I was at the Library Book Sale, which I think I have still figuring out a way, for the most part as well, of how I consider to be one of the greatest movies from the 80s as well, because <clears throat> we had a m amount of number of good movies that were coming out in 1987. But the ones I usually have right here are I got were on DVD and VHS tapes as well. And this is the one that I got when I was whew, I was at the book sale when I found this for a, a good price of this on sale. And that is Dirty Dancing. What can I say about this? I loved this movie and in my opinion, because, however, this is pr newly remastered in a 16 by 9 feature on here. There is basically a DVD introduction, and there's also a commentary track, and this also has a screen test on here. And this also has a multi-voice commentary on this one here. And there's also... Four interviews on there, different interviews on here. And this also has a tribute on here. There's a couple of music videos. Or or is it three? I'm guessing there's only three music videos on here. And this has a trailer gallery and has the actual trailer on this DVD. And this also has a trivia track all on this DVD-based content for this one as well. However, because this one also did got a Blu-ray release as well, as far as I know. <sighs> Excuse me. I wonder what really at least this on DVD. Oh, it's Artists and Home Entertainment on DVD. Disc one only has the movie, which I have right here. However, for disc two on here, it has the ultimate features, which is the extras on here. Reasons why I had to buy the movie Dirty Dancing on DVD is that... What can I say? I love this movie because there's a lot of loads of features on the DVD-based content on here. I guess I'm wondering if there's more... I'm wondering if the Blu-ray release has a lot of the features on here, just like the Ultimate Edition DVD release on here had as well and yes this is basically a DVD release from Artisan Home Entertainment which is made in conjunction with Lionsgate on DVD as well but for this part what brings me to this as well <sighs> excuse me and this particularly has gotten to me is that I had to buy this on DVD though yeah I never know about this as well yeah this is presented it in widescreen which is perfect for 16 by 9 television though as well yeah especially if you ever wanted to get this as well because this all has gotten to my case per of how I wanted to come by for movies that are presented in 16x9 television format as well. And I got another movie that I have right here on DVD, and I'm guessing this is the second Mel Brooks movie that I just recently bought in Jan back in January. 
and I had to pay for like only one dollar for this one here, and that is Spaceballs. This is basically my second Mel Brooks movie I have right here on DVD as well, and this is the one that I have as well. There's other ones, like the other movies that are directed by Mel Brooks that I don't have that I still need to get, like High Anxiety and Young Frankenstein as well. There is audio commentary by Mel Brooks, and this also includes the special behind-the-scenes footage, and this also has the theatrical trailer on this DVD on here. There's both versions. This has the standard full screen version and this also has the widescreen version all on a flipper disc on here if it's formatted to watch it on a 16 by 9 TV screen on this well or something I'm gonna show you what this has I'm still figuring out the way as well here's the booklet like this as well there's only like 32 chapters on this DVD as well. Yeah, I didn't know about this D. Well, I'm guessing what would you I would like to call it as these early MGM home entertainment releases from the t early 2000s on here. Not necessarily movies in general. No, no, basically they're just home video releases on here. Like, I would say like... Yeah, and however, this is actually, however, Spaceballs was released in 1987, but I think this was released on DVD in 2000. However, it was on VHS back in the 90s as well. Yeah. And this movie stars um, John Candy, who recently worked on his famous movies like Uncle Buck, Home Alone, and Planes, Trains, and Automobiles, and that one as well. However, this is how these lampooning parodies on here, if you could ask me for this as well. And also, this movie stars Rick Moranis, who recently worked on Ghostbusters and Honey, I Shrunk the Kids as well, if, you, if I'm not mistaken, as well. Yeah. I mean, I just love how they put the cast on the list on the DVD, which is on this booklet on material, if you could see. Take note on this as well. Wow. So this particularly, what can I forget as well? Yeah. <sighs> Excuse me. Yeah. And this is the older MGM home entertainment releases where they used to put the to access special features Press the main menu. Press the menu button on your DVD remote control. What they used to put back in. I mean, this is how it was before Blu-rays arrived as well. And yeah, this has gotten to the case as how I could expect to find something like this as well. And yeah, because yeah, this is how. It, DVDs were like this as well. However, there we do have a DVD disc of this movie on here, which I was going to show you as well. Okay, this one right here, this is the, the widescreen version, and the other is the standard full screen version. It's all in one on a flipper disc on here. Interesting, hasn't it? Because this is how DVDs were back then when they wanted to put versions on a flipper disc as well. Instead, aside from the both versions on the, I believe it was, 
And also, we do got other casts on these voices. On We got Dom Delaways, who recently worked on Don Bluth films like All Dogs Go to Heaven, American Tale, and he also did The Secret of Nim as well. Oh, and he also appeared later on in in American Tale, Five Goes West, which I guess it was how many years later in the 90s? Four years later. Yeah, I think he also appeared in American Tale. Yeah, Dom DeLuise later worked on an American Tale, Five Goes West, which was four years later in 1991, as I could find as I know. Yeah, they, this is like your typical lampooning everything where they reference Star Wars and Star Trek as well. So they just wanted like a parody take, a hilar outrageous, hilarious take on how they made, whenever they did this movie as well. Especially for what Mel Brooks had a lot to do as well. For overall, I love this movie. It's been a while since I saw this movie back in high school during my sophomore year. I think this was like, I believe it was April or is it March 2011? I guess it was March 2011 when I saw this movie. I guess, I believe it was during a movie day as well. Yeah, because this all got to my memory as well, which I remember it all as well. <coughs> Bless me. Sorry. If... Anyway, so... I finished up on the category for movies right here. Let's dive into some cartoons once again. That's pretty much I have here for cartoons. There are some of the 80s Disney cartoons from the that all also were part of the Disney Afternoon. And, and I think this is the one that I got right here on DVD and that is I got this on Amazon back in 2013, and that is DuckTales. Yeah, I have to get the first volume of this on DVD. I didn't know that this was particularly... However, this is in a box on here with these DVD thin packs on here. Like, the colors are blue, green, and red on there. However, there was another version of this, but it's only in a three-disc set in a DVD keep case as like a reissue version as well. If I'm not mistaken though as well, but I kept this DVD though because there's only 27 episodes, but this was missing the the, the pilot epi episode on there, which it was never included on this DVD release of this, but the only way you could find the DuckTales pilot episode one, I would say it's it's all vol. I think it's only available in the. I guess it was volume two as well. However, this is actually a 2005 DVD release on, from Walt Disney Home Entertainment as well, because most of them have. How many episodes on disc two? One on here? Nine episodes on disc one. As well as disc two. As for disc three. Yeah, same with disc three as well. So I'm guessing this all totals up to like 27 episodes as well. Yeah, because... I'm still figuring out a way as well. Yeah, they did put out three volumes of them, which they were all it's been released as well, but they stopped releasing them after volume three was released, which I got right here. I got this at a book sale at a library back in 2017, 16, which I remembered as well. And by the way, this is actually in a different DVD case like this as well. However, I had to use, say is that there were some scratches on the discs on there. I might as well check for more on there. 
this is now kind of redundant as well. Yeah. But the good news is that the, there is also a complete D DuckTales set that has all three volumes and the movie, which uh, is Treasure of the Lost Lamp, also available in a different edition set on here. If I'm not mistaken, though, which I can clearly remember for that as well. However, DuckTales Volume 4 was also released on DVD, which I'm guessing that was available part of the Disney Movie Exclusive Club as well, which I think this completes the entire series as well. Oh, I do... But, didn't you know that I do have this VHS of DuckTales on here? Yeah, I think I got this one, though, recently, though. However, the episode Duck to the Future, which I think is only available in the third volume of DuckTales on DVD, Sir Gyro de Gearloos, which is basically Huey, Dewey, and Louie, and Gyro Gearloos is the one where they travel to, um, and the King Arthur episode one, which I'm guessing, I think that's available in the first volume of DuckTales on DVD as well. But not only you had the episodes, but this also has the DuckTales bumper, or er, episode preview bumpers included on this VHS, which it was, was never included on the subsequential DVD ones as well. And I'm sorry that the, the sticker label like this came off, because I'm guessing this kind of little worn out as well. I'm hoping I could find some tape and I could find for that pretty soon as well as we speak as well yeah because this has gotten to my thing as well I'm hoping though I'm pretty sure I'm hoping if the original DuckTales series from 1987 could get like a complete series set on blu-ray just like how they did with um, Chippendale Rescue Rangers complete series set which I think it's all available on blu-ray as well Pretty soon I will pick it up at one point on Blu-ray on Chippendale Rescue Rangers, which I'm guessing that's the big one of the 1987 cartoons category as well. And yeah, there was also uh, other ones, like, there's a whole bunch of them out there as well, in case you're wondering. And I, and I don't have um, G.I. Joe the movie, the 1987 movie, but... I think it's been a while since I saw that movie on Blu-ray, that uh, DVD that I borrowed from the library, but pretty soon I'll pick it up on Blu-ray. It's available on Blu-ray from Shout Factory as well, by the way. And finally, we finished off on the cartoons category. We're now into the anime category. I have here is Robot Carnival. This is basically a collection of nine... How many... Um, short episodes on here. Yeah, nine, nine segments or something. Yeah, and this all from nine animators and nine directors on there. This is actually a, a collection of art on here for the whole state of the art for the film like Robot Carnival as well. Well, it's your average anime anthology film just like most of them as well as well in case you're wondering this one is also available on a blu-ray and now robot carnival is now available on the 4k ultra hd release also from discotech media as well here's i'm going to show you what the disc what it looks like here's the disc to that and I'm going to show you the reversible cover on that. Here's that as well. Okay, so there's only 
nine chapters on here. Pretty interesting on here. However, this also includes the original trailer, and this also has a a new essay about the film by Mike O'Toole of Anime News Network on here. However, this has the English dub from Streamline Pictures on here, but this also has the original Japanese language version with English subtitles on this DVD release of this as well. And also, the music is composed by three different composers. You have Ma Masahisa Ta Tekichi, Isaku F U U Ujita, and Joe Hisashi, who recently worked with Miyazaki in that one as well. Yeah, because this is presented in 16 by 9 anamorphic widescreen. There's only 91 minutes on this DVD. It was originally released on VHS back then in the day, but now we got a DVD, Blu-ray, and now 4K Ultra HD release of Robot Carnival as well. Well, there's there's another one I need to get, which is uh, Neo Tokyo, which is another anime anthology film. <clears throat> If I could find a copy of that anywhere. I'm wondering if it'll get a Blu-ray or 4K Ultra HD release. If Discotech Media could have gotten a hold of that as well. Because that will get you going as well. However, there is also some horror anime that I need to get on DVD and the Blu-ray. Like, the biggest of those two, like, which is The Devil Man OVA on here. And there's also Wicked City. That's another 80s horror anime. Which is how I got introduced to like the 80s horror anime as well. There's also sci-fi horror anime. I need to get like Lily Cat. That's another one as well. There's also one of the Yurisei Yatsura OVAs on there. Most of them were... On DVD from Animago, there's only five volumes on there. But I'm hoping Discotech Media could have got a hold of the complete Yurisei Yatsura OVA series on there. In the at this point, because it would be nice to have Discotech Media could get the hold of the Yurisei Yatsura OVAs as well. There's also Super Dimension Fortress Macross Flashback 2012 one as well. Yeah, because there's a whole bunch of anime from 1987 out there as well. And they're just basically gloriously of how I can get a hold of this. And there's another OVA series that I wanted to pick up that I don't have, which is the biggest one of all, which is the Bubblegum Crisis OVA series as well. Because I heard good things about the Bubblegum Crisis OVA series because it's been a while since I saw Bubblegum Crisis on Tubi on the PS4 as well. It's a absolute outstanding OVA series because can't get enough of Bubblegum Crisis as well. I, I will be getting Bubblegum Crisis one of these days on either DVD or Blu-ray at one point as well. So that's going to be it for my video here for today, you guys. Thank you for watching, but before we go, here's what I'm going to say for this one. Well... This is the first time I wanted to showcasing some movies and cartoons. And there's some anime on here, because I have a little bit of it that I got for 1987 anime. But I will get more of them eventually, because I really wanted to get more of them. Because there's a whole bunch of them out there as well. And at this point, though, there is also, from what I can learn about this as well what I can understand for the fact as well. We'll talk about it another time in another video as well. Hope to subscribe for more content. Links will be in the description down below if you want to check them out, like either my Anime Planet or Analyst. And also, be sure to smack the like button if you enjoyed the video. And if you want to check out my uh, your thoughts, leave it in the comments in the comment section below as well. And also, be sure to click on the subscribe button. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, RuRoniK95. Feel free to join my channel, especially if you're new to my channel as a newcomer, especially if you're watching the channel. Because I have wanted to do this way as well. And also, smack the notifications bell button. Be sure to get notified also as well for more latest updates. Just to keep you notified as well. Because I wanted to do this as well, particularly. 
and I might, because I gotta fit and it up for the longest intro for which I can after I finish this one because I gotta do this. That's why. And that's all I have what I got for today as well. Well, because I had to get all these information as well, which I can remember. This is Ruroni K95 saying thank you for watching my video and I'm glad you liked it. Hope you enjoy it. Hope to see you soon for the next video. Hope you have a great day. This is Ruroni K95 signing off and thank you for watching my video and I'll see you soon for more videos. Take care.